Hello, I'm going to give you a brief overview of um, how this class is organized in Blackboard. So, first of all, welcome to Introduction to Healthcare Systems. And if you go over here, you'll see that the syllabus is linked up on the left side here. Um, you'll see the menu. And right under Course Materials is the syllabus. You can print out the syllabus here. I suggest that you do that. I've printed out my syllabus. Um, and I have all my contact information here. Know that, please, feel free to call me, stop by my office hours, and also I'm really into using this thing called Slack that I'm going to highlight in a second where you can contact me. Here are the student learning outcomes for this class. In this class, we're really going to be talking about the U.S. healthcare delivery system. And what I mean by that is really think of it like a business. H how is it done? Is it done efficiently? How do we make sure we have quality? Um, how do we pay our providers? Um, how do we make sure that people can access health care? So these are some of the big things that we're going to be focusing in on. The book that we're using is called Essentials of the U.S. Healthcare System. It is on order um, and it is coming into the bookstore but also you can price shop for it out on Amazon and use bookstores. Um, know that you can use the fifth or fourth edition and that you do not need electronic access. Um, this is how, um, of course, we're going to be very polite to each other um, on, uh, on using technology, no caps, use net adequate. I, I think that this is, I haven't seen this ever be a problem, but just, you know, you can read about, about the net adequate definition here. Let's talk about the grades. So this is how the class is organized. We have weekly assignments. Every assignment, the, every week there will be an assignment. And so get in a, uh, the groove of always, and the habit of always looking on Friday at the class to see the new material posted and then um, from there, do uh, like a calendar to make sure that you have everything completed before the Sunday the following week. And I'm going to show you the calendar so you can see all the due dates um, that are there. But you'll see that there's always this trend, uh, weekly assignments. This week, you've got two things you need to focus in on. The attendance requirement, which is basically saying hello and doing an introduction, and that is going to be due on Wednesday. I need to know who's in this class pretty quickly because we have a pretty long waiting list. And I want to make sure that I can get those people in who are on the waiting list um, and make room for those people. And then you have your Sunday assignment due. Um, it's not hard, but I just want to get you into a groove of, and a habit. You have three quizzes of which one will drop. Um, so know that those three quizzes will be all online. And you have chapter reviews, which are oh, easy peasy. Do those every week. It's like 10 questions. You can do those as many times as you want. This is an easy A for you to get 10% of your grade done. And also know that they're linked to all your quizzes. So uh, no brainer there, right? Complete those. And then um, you have a, a topic video at the very end, which I'm going to totally work with you throughout the whole entire term to show you all the different um, technology that you can use to record a short video. And then you have a final exam at the end. So that's the weight, 30, 20, which is 50%, um, plus 10, 60, and then 40%. Um, so for a hundred percent. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you work on this class every week and that you save time to look at it. So uh, again, I kind of showed you the trends and then this is a technology you're going to need. You're going to need to dive into Blackboard. Um, you definitely want to always use Firefox or Chrome. Never use Internet Explorer. Um, I have the free software that you can download right here from Microsoft Office. You want to have access to that. And just a little tip, I always worked on um, my discussion post in Word and then cut and paste them into the discussion post. I always worked on things off to the side. So in case of Blackboard ever, my internet went down or Blackboard had a, a hiccup, I had my, um, my items saved off to the side. So 
know that you have free um, access to Microsoft Office. You should totally download it. So let's get started now. So we've seen this a little bit. This is where I'd like you to start each week. It says start here weekly items. And this is your checklist for this week. You watching this video is the first item on your checklist. The second item on your checklist is to post your introduction, which is really important because it ties to your attendance requirement. There are two ways that you can get into it. One is to go over to your discussion post, or two, complete at attendance requirement introduction and thoughts. And what I've done here is I've actually posted one, me, and um, I have posted it here. And it, it, you'll see that there's an introduction here with um, uh, my avatar. And you'll be happy to see that I'm a benevolent ruler. So that's much better than a malicious ruler, right? Uh, and you can see my background here, and you can see a picture of my dogs, and my favorite Netflix episode, which is The Expanse. I love that show. But anyway, um, I also like to tell you that I like to go by either Dr. Barron or Professor Barron when you're formal doing formal communication through email. And then I have something called Slack where you can informally communicate with me, and I'm fine with you using informal Sarah. You know, in English language, we don't have the formal and informal, but it's important for you to get in the habit of addressing your professors formally with Dr. Barron or Professor Barron, and then you can slip into the informal with me with Sarah. So I'm fine with that, but just get in the habit of doing formal communication through email using Dr. Barron or Professor Barron. So then let's get back to these weekly items. And now I'm back in that folder. And so now you've just, you've seen post your introduction and I gave you an example. The next thing I want to have you do is join Slack. And my, I taught this class last term and people just love the Slack. What I've done is I, I'm going to give you an invitation to it. And what you do is you come into Slack and you post a picture. And um, right here, you'll see that I've posted and um, we're in Slack and you post right in here and you can also direct message me too. So know that this is an option for you and I'm going to add people to this private channel and this is a way for you to do informal communication and to get started. All right, so Slack is like your informal communication place where you can text me and message me and everything else. The other thing I really like is called Zoom. And Zoom is this um, web conferencing where I can actually conference with you. And what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to have office hours. I'm going to answer questions there, and then I'm going to record it, and then I'm going to post it for you. But I'm also going to have office hours where you can come in and talk to me live. We're also going to have guest speakers that are going to be using Zoom. So I'd love for you to download this on your phone. Also know that you have this um, feature through Blackboard too. It is awesome. And the last but not least, here's the link for the Microsoft Office software. I encourage you to download it. So your goal is to get everything done in week, uh, week one getting started folder. Once you've done that, now you can work on to the week one task. So this is your week one getting started required to start week one. I wanted to make sure that I showed you here the calendar of due dates because if you're like me, you want to make sure you get your due dates done. So by January the 8th, a great day because it's also my birthday, you're going to post your attendance requirement. <laughs> and you're going to get that in there. It's also Elvis's birthday too. You're going to get it done by midnight, okay? January the 8th, okay? Did I, did I make that very clear? Get that attendance requirement done. Then your discussion post for week one is due by January the 12th. Do you see how this calendar is really cool? So use that when in doubt, use that. You can also use this grades over here to see all the list of your items. See how those two due dates are right there? So use that to kind of keep track of everything. Okay, calendar of dates, 
and grades. Those are two ways to kind of see what's due. Now you finished getting started. Now you're in week one. And I'm going to prompt you to make sure you do this. I have a short lecture video here. And then I have everything download here for you to download. The PowerPoint. Um, I also posted um, the textbook here for you, the chapter one of the textbook. Let's say you don't have access to the textbook. Guess what? I did a PDF for you. So you got that for you. Aren't you just like going, yay! I'm so happy you did that. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Barron. Yeah. So it's right there for you. For your reading pleasure. Week one. Right there, textbook. Then you could do your chapter review as many times as you want. Yay! Do that. I bet you some people have already watched Sick Around the World. Have fun with that. The little podcast. The overview. And then here's your week one assignment. And it's a discussion post. And so you click on that. And then you respond to it. So you click on that. And what you do to get your discussion post going is you create that thread. And then you can see the writing parts, the writing prompts. So I look forward to seeing your work on that. Now, if you have any questions about deadlines, about the course or anything, I will have office hours and I look forward to seeing your Slack post and your introduction post. So let's get started. Let's dive in. All right. Have a great time diving into this course. It should be great. I'm looking forward to teaching it and, um, and all that. All right. Signing off.